Hey guys, how are you doing? So I wanted to show you how I personally use Automatio uh, and how Automatio actually helped me to buy my dream bikes. Uh, the one I was actually looking for months uh, over here in my country, but I was not being able to get. So um, in the high level overview, I'm gonna show you how I did this. So um, in short, I used the uh, Automatio to monitor this uh, classified eBay German website uh, for specific keywords. And when this bike actually, which I wanted, comes out, I want to be the first one to know and to get notified um, over the Slack or even email or SMS. I can do whatever, but since I was uh, active on Slack, I have mobile app, I got instant notification when this new bike is actually right. So I want to be the first one to react, to negotiate the price and because I'm buying the used one and not a new one and um, and to, to be able to purchase it on the time because this is a very a rare a rare kind of bike on the German. There's a lot of other bikes out there like thousands, but this specific one is a very rare. So how I did it. So basically, as you can see over here, I already have uh, bot created. So I'm just going to use this bot uh, to demonstrate and to show you actually how I did. Uh, so here I have the couple of extract actions which help me to extract the data I want. So I extracted this title, I extracted description, price, uh, the date, photo, and the URL. I also uh, 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 said to Tomatio to block all that if there are any ads. Um, to use my cookies, so it's going to be logged in with my account out there. Uh, then I use this trigger option, which basically tell Automatio to schedule it every, uh, and run it every 10 minutes. And 10 minutes was more than enough because these bikes very rarely comes. And I could say even uh, one minute, but what I noticed from my uh, experience 10 minutes was more than enough out there. And then I also use this stop a duplicate feature, which basically uh, tells Automatio to collect only the newest ads and uh, not collect every time it's run every 10 minutes to collect all of these ads, but only the, the new one. So that's what they needed. So this is actually how you send. And for, for, for you, for the one uh, who doesn't know how Automatio actually work is a basically Chrome extension and the dashboard. So once I run this bot over here, it's gonna send a task directly to the cloud server and this is gonna run out there and collect. As you can see, the next bot, uh, the next run for this bot will be in 50 seconds. So it'll go there and see if there is no new, if there's no new data or not. So in this case, the last couple of times there was no new data. So if we see the empty one instance, but we have sessions here. So we can go for each of the session every time he run and we can see if there's new data, but let me show you. So basically for you uh, who, who didn't know how to make your work basically is I'm able to create a very uh, simple bot just by uh, selecting using extract action and selecting the elements I want. So I want to get the title, I want to get description, I want to get the price. And just like that, very simply, I'll, under uh, like a minute or two, I was able to build a bot. So if I want to get image, I just gonna say image URL. I can rename this, but I just don't want to go too much details because um, I want to show you how or high level overview of what I actually did. And of course, there was this uh, option in the start action where I can say block ads, uh, trigger yourself every five minutes or five hours or one day, whatever I put over here and a couple more options. But that's actually how I actually, actually, and actually, sorry about that. But that is how I built that, um, that bot. And what, after that, what I did is I sent this data to the Google Sheet. So over here we have a native integration with Google Sheet. So once uh, I, click this uh, button, create new sheet, the new sheet will be created in the, and in the real time, we're gonna have an, all this data which Automatio collect will be sent in real time to this Google sheet uh, over here, as you can see. So this is Automatio collecting a data for me. And once I have a data in uh, the Google sheet, it's, um, it's really powerful. Then you can do a lot of stuff. Google sheet is a very powerful, um, tool, it's actually a programming tool. 
uh, where you can run the formulas and do all kinds of different stuff. But I use it as an intermediate layer so I can actually connect it with Zapier. So once you have a data with, in Google Sheet, you, you can connect with tools like Zapier, Integromat, or any other tool. I think that Google Sheet is most integrated tool out there. So basically, and after that, what I did is actually I just created a very simple Zap, which uh, monitoring the new rows on the Google Sheet. So as you can see over here, the set trigger was actually choose app event was a new spreadsheet row. So every time the new spreadsheet row come over here to Automatio, I want to send, that was a trigger, I want to send a direct message in the Slack. So yeah, th this is a pretty simple and forward step, how you set up the Google, uh, the Zapier to work with Google Sheet. There's a bunch of tutorials out there, but it's actually really simple. You just select your Google Sheet, you select the event. There's a couple events. In this case, I use it a new spreadsheet row. So every row, once again, it's gonna, uh, that's gonna be triggered for Automatio. And then, yeah, you, you just select your spreadsheet and worksheet. And after that, I said to um, send a new uh, direct message in the Slack. So as you can see, I use the Slack Zap. Action event is a send um, direct message. There should be over here, yes. And there's a lot of other things which you can do. And then you just select your account and then you set up the action. So you set up, hey, who to who this is going to be sent? It's going to be sent to me, the kinder. And then you put your message, you structure your message. So as you can see, I, I can write anything over here, say new bike, I just arrived, I just put some emoji and then I put this name. And then I just call this data from the Google sheet, which actually automate you scrape it. So this message will say, hey, a uh, new bike with this title and with this price and this date and this description, this URL, and with this actually uh, photo, I'm mean, attaching the photo, uh, it's arrived and this message will be sent to my Slack. So that's pretty it actually. You just uh, test this bot and turn it on. And this is actually how the data will look like. So this is what Automatia was sending me every time there is a new bicycle for that specific TrackX Calibre keyboard I wanted to, to know. So th this is uh, the messages I got from uh, the Automatio itself. So basically Automatio in combination with, uh, 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 with the Google Sheet and Zapier and Slack, I got this. I could choose to get this message as I said over the email, over the SMS even, but the Slack was the best way for me because I can visually see and get instant notification over the phone and the desktop over here. So this is literally helping me to buy uh, my dream bicycles. Actually, I got uh, two bicycles because it was a so good deal that I couldn't resist, honestly. So I got two bicycles and I gonna most likely sell the one because I don't actually need the two, but uh, this is the one bicycle I got. Uh, this is uh, actually, I recorded this video uh, last week when I got the bicycle. So this is me uh, on the on the hills out there driving the bicycle and uh, sending some updates to my friends how actually happy getting this new bicycle. That's my uh, friend Roja. I don't go without him. And um, yeah, this is one bicycle, really powerful bicycle, the one I really, really wanted, uh, the latest model, track model. And this is another, uh, as you can see, it have the city uh, tires, so it's a, it's more city bike, and this is more like mountain bike. I mean, it's a same models, so different years and different tires. So um, I'm really happy that uh, I got those bicycles, and I'm really happy that I actually utilized Automatio to uh, help me get uh, these bicycles. So this was a very fun and interesting um, journey to, uh, to use Automatio to monitor, to monitor this website and to actually negotiate and to organize everything to buy from a different country or everything through the phone, remotely organize transport and to get this bicycle or there where I can actually drive them and enjoy every, every day. Uh, so, 
what you can also do, I, I'm going to put this uh, probably in another video. Uh, since you have this data with the prices over here, you can run some formula where you're going to uh, reduce this price, for example, for 20%. So it will automatically put it in the new row, every uh, reduced uh, price for 20%. It's a very simple formulas. And then you can use those new prices and tell Automatio to go in each of these link, for example, to go in each of these ad and, and send automated message with reduced price. So you can say, tell Automatio, hey, Automatio, I'm going to very quickly build this bot. Hey, Automatio, go there. Of course, use my cookies so you can be logged in. And then click on this uh, uh, right message button. And once you're there, uh, input some data over here. And this data can be dynamically, so I can pull this data directly from the Google Sheet and say, hey, uh, I can first say, hey, hello. I, I will say this in German, of course, but this is just a demonstration. Hello, I am interested. Uh, something like, hello, uh, here is my offer, my offer. And then you can put dynamically the price from that uh, Google Sheet out there dynamically, which is, which is actually 20% reduced, if you remember. So you can choose that column, which have reduced a 20% price. So basically, you can automate even more this process to send a message to you, uh, to those guys, because, you know, you will need to uh, send this message manually anyway, right, on all of these uh, ads out there. So this is how you can utilize automatio and it's really powerful you can do even more like if you if you connect with some ai platform it can do who knows how many things out there which i didn't even think of so hope you hope you get um, a sense of how you can use automatio and how actually uh, automatio make a value to me uh in this specific um, scenario uh and yeah, but also have in mind that um, th this uh, early adopter program will end very, very soon, probably in the next couple of weeks. So um, if you're interested to, to get into Meteo and uh, you don't want to miss this uh, uh, lifetime discount or lifetime deal, which is only going to be available uh, while this early adopter program is uh, on, be sure to visit automatio.co. Um, slash early dash assess out there. So be sure this uh, early adopter program is uh, available only uh, in, for next couple of weeks. And actually it's out there for a couple of months already, but we're gonna end it up. So the 50% lifetime discount is only available in the extra package. So um, no matter what Automatio will be in the future, how much it is going to cost in the five months or five years, you will always have 50% off if you uh, join now. So uh, have that in mind. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any question, uh, feel free to um, ask in the comments or either respond to this email because I'm sending this through the uh, email out there. So thanks. All the best. Peace.